The United States recently approved a potential $2 billion arms sale package to Taiwan, which includes the National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System, or NASAMS. This advanced air defense missile system has proven its effectiveness on the battlefield in Ukraine and represents a crucial enhancement in Taiwan's defense capabilities as military pressure from China escalates. The Pentagon's Defense Security Cooperation Agency confirmed that the package includes three NASAMS units equipped with the advanced AMRAAM extended range missiles. But what exactly is this system and why might it be considered vital for Taiwan's security? How does it work? And what sets it apart from other air defense systems? In today's video, we'll explore everything we know about the NASAMS, including its specifications, capabilities, and potential impact on Taiwan's defense strategy. Let's dive in. The National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System, commonly referred to as NASAMS, is also known as the Norwegian Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System. It is a distributed and networked medium-range air defense system developed through a collaboration between the American-based RTX Corporation and the Norwegian Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace. Designed to protect against a variety of aerial threats, including fixed-wing aircraft, helicopters, drones, and cruise missiles, NASAMS has become a key asset for numerous military forces worldwide. Its modular design allows for seamless integration with multiple radar systems and command and control units, enhancing its adaptability to various operational environments. The development of the NASAMS began in the 1980s through a collaboration between Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace and Hughes Missile Systems. The project aimed to create a new air defense solution for the Royal Norwegian Air Force, designed to replace two existing Nike Hercules facilities and enhance the defense of Norway's southern air bases. NASAMS was envisioned as a networked system that would work in conjunction with F-16 fighters to provide a layered defense strategy. The initial concept was built around an integrated command and control system, derived from the Norwegian Adapted Hawk program, which allowed for better tracking and engagement of aerial threats. After extensive development, including the transition from the MIM-23B missile to the advanced AM-120, the system achieved its initial operational capability in the mid-1990s, with full operational deployment reached by 1998. As a network-centric air defense system, the NASAMS enhances survivability against electronic countermeasures. The system's primary weapon is the AIM-120 Advanced Medium-Range Air-to-Air Missile, which allows NASAMS to engage multiple aerial threats effectively. In fact, it can simultaneously track and engage up to 72 targets in both active and passive modes, providing flexibility in complex operational environments. NASAMS utilizes the Raytheon MPQ-64F1 Sentinel radar, a high-resolution three-dimensional surveillance system that enables precise target detection and tracking. This radar system contributes significantly to situational awareness during operations. Each NASAMS launcher can carry up to six missiles, allowing for rapid engagement of multiple threats. The latest canister launcher configuration, known as the MK-2, supports various missile types including the extended-range variant of the AMRAAM and the AEM-9X Block II missile. The command and control capabilities of NASAMS are managed by a fire distribution center, which integrates various communication networks for real-time data management. This unit performs essential functions such as battle management, threat evaluation, weapon allocation, and kill assessment, ensuring efficient coordination during operations. NASAMS employs advanced data link systems, including Link 16 and Link 11, to maintain connectivity between radars and command units, enhancing operational effectiveness in day and night, all weather conditions. Key capabilities of NASAMS include rapid reaction time, advanced target discrimination, and engagement of a wide range of aerial threats. 
The system can launch missiles within seconds of acquiring a target, making it effective against fast-moving threats. What's more, NASAMS is designed to operate alongside other air defense systems, including the longer-range Patriot system, creating a layered defense that enhances overall situational awareness and response capabilities. NASAM's ability to operate in diverse environments, from urban areas to open terrain, further increases its versatility. The latest version of NASAM's, known as NASAM's 3, introduces several enhancements over its predecessors. Featuring upgraded software and hardware capabilities, NASAM's 3 allows for improved missile guidance and tracking. It is also equipped with the AMRAM EX missile and is compatible with new generation radar systems that provide enhanced detection and engagement capabilities. Looking ahead, the Norwegian Ministry of Defense is once again partnering with Raytheon and Kongsberg to co-develop a next-generation radar system designed to further improve NASAM's capabilities against high-value targets. This new radar will be based on the Raytheon Ghost Eye family, which is designed to detect a broad range of threats, including cruise missiles, drones, and helicopters. Although specific range capabilities have not been disclosed, estimates suggest that this advanced radar could potentially track targets up to 150 kilometers away. The potential approval of NASAMS-3 for Taiwan will not only enhance the island nation's air defense capabilities, but also signals a significant shift in the U.S. approach to regional security in the Indo-Pacific. This arms sale, which includes a system successfully battle-tested in Ukraine, represents a deeper commitment to supporting Taiwan's military readiness in a period of heightened tensions. In response to the deal, China warned that it could escalate tensions in the Taiwan Strait. Beijing's strong opposition includes threats of countermeasures to defend its sovereignty, highlighting the delicate balance of power in the region. But what do you think? Let's discuss in the comment section below. And if you found this video informative, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.